Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review yet another very popular android 13 custom rom which goes by the name of nameless aosp so without wasting any more time let's get started i've been using nameless aosp since android 12 and it was easily the best and most stable custom rom and the same is the case for android 13 the rom is available for the oneplus 8 series oneplus 9r and oneplus 9r also i've installed it on my oneplus 8t and if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is android 13 and the android security patch is of 5th August 2022. If we have a look at the build number, the build number is nameless AOSP 2nd October 2022 and now let's see what this ROM provides and what not. Also since this is an Oxygen OS 12 based build, you'll need to be on Oxygen OS 12 C.33 or C.35 for installing this ROM. I'll be making a detailed installation video for nameless AOSP in the coming week. Now coming to the basic functionality, all the basic functionality of this ROM is working fine. Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working fine and calling is also working without any problems. The ROM comes with very minimal pre-installed apps and thus the bloatware is just zero. Apart from that one great thing about this ROM is you get a fingerprint to unlock as well as face unlock functionality with this one and both of them are quite accurate and fast. And if we talk about the launcher, you get the basic stock pixel launcher with this one for now. From the first look, the ROM feels very snappy and stable just like it used to feel before. Moving on, as I've already shown you, this is an Android 13 based build so you have the latest and best features of Android 13 like more accents color to choose from in the wallpaper and color section you get the new music player widget and output picker and other features so all the latest and greatest android 13 features are there and working well all your banking and payment apps just work fine as the rom passes a safety net test out of the box and if i show you the wideband security level that is also relevant so you can stream hd content on netflix and other streaming sites moving on the camera that you get with this rom is Ox oxygen os 12 camera and gallery app so that is such a great advantage as a lot of oxygen os 12 based roms don't have oxygen os camera and gallery app. Talking about the battery, I didn't face any drains as such but I'll use the ROM for a week or so and I'll update with all the details about the battery, charging speeds and overnight drains in the community tab or the comment section of the video. So press the subscribe button to not miss those videos. Talking about gaming, you get full 90fps support in BGMI. As you can see in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90fps and you can play on 90fps also. The gaming performance looks very good initially and comment down if you want me to make a full gaming review of this ROM. Now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this ROM. The thing about nameless ASP ROMs is you don't get one different section for customizations. Instead, they are scattered across various tabs. So if I go into the app section, you get a namespace or gaming mode option. And if I move on to battery, you get battery icons and battery style settings. However, you only have two styles to choose from. Inside sound and vibration at the bottom, there are options for alert slider, mute media volume and some volume dialog config. Inside the display section, you get options for DC dimming and some lock screen customizations like double line clock, media art, edge light and some lock screen gesture. We get the option to select the minimum and maximum refresh rate. Then we have QS panel brightness slider customization like the position of brightness slider and all and QS style layout settings. Then we get some status bar options like clock and date, network indicator and status bar items. And finally there are some options for status bar gestures with some theming options like fonts, icon packs, signals and Wi-Fi icon styles. So that's all the customization that you get with this ROM and you don't have any device extra or one plus extra option setting. I feel the customizations are a little low if we compare it to the standards of nameless AOSP but I think the devs are focusing more on stability and more customization will be added in the future updates. So should you install this ROM? Definitely yes. This is one of the finest Android 13 ROM that you can get in terms of stability and performance and it is currently lacking in terms of customization but it will get there. You also get the support of Oxygenos camera and gallery app with full 90fps in BGMI. So thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and effort in building this ROM. Comment down if you want me to make an installation video on this ROM. Also I make a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying other Android 13 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you for watching.